Qatar has strongly condemned a suicide bombing in the Turkish capital. A tragic incident as a passenger on board a Qatar Airways flight passes away. With just moments left for the Qatar Expo, the mega event picks up a Guinness World Record. And finally, another draw for PSG sees them slip down the league on table. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has strongly condemned a suicide bombing that rocked the Turkish capital earlier on Sunday. A suicide bomber detonated an explosive device in front of the parliament building in Ankara, wounding two police officers. A second assailant was neutralized by police. The explosion occurred at 9.30 a.m. just hours before parliamentarians, including President Rajab Tayyip Erdogan, were due to attend. Now, a 60-year-old woman on board a Qatar Airways flight heading from Doha to Sydney passed away on Friday. The woman was found unresponsive midway through the 14-hour flight and all efforts to revive the passenger were not successful. Both Qatar Airways and Sydney police confirmed the incident and sent their condolences to her family. Back in Qatar, the countdown is on for the launch of the Expo 2023, but a Guinness World Record has already been bagged. Ashgal succeeded in entering the famous world records by building the largest green roof in the world, built on an area of 4,031 square meters. The much-awaited Expo begins on Monday, October 2nd. And finally, Paris Saint-Germain has slipped down the Ligue 1 table following a drab 0-0 draw away to lowly Clermont foot. The Parisians bombarded the Clermont goal with a staggering 21 shots but were unable to score a single goal. The draw coupled with AS Monaco's 3-2 win over Marseille later on Saturday saw Monaco go top of the table with PSG dropping to third. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.